Okay, the goal of this video is to do a couple of examples and then at the end, in your own words, you'll be able to describe the difference between APR and APY. Okay, so what we're going to do first is assume a one year CD certificate of deposit, um, so a savings account basically where you promise not to take the money out until the year is done, otherwise, uh, pay big fines. So, suppose, assume a one year CD purchased for a thousand dollars pays an APR of 8% that is compounded quarterly. How much interest does the account earn in each compounding period? And does the increase interest earned increase over each period and why, right? So what we're going to do is realize that this is compounding quarterly so we're going to look at the end of each quarter, okay? So we'll start with quarter one, or three months, and we'll calculate the balance in the account, and then look at the interest gained. Okay. So in order to calculate the balance, um, we have to think about what interest rate we're going to use, because eight percent is annual percentage in rate. Okay. That's the rate you would use if you were compounding annually. But to compound quarterly, you have to take the APR and turn it into a quarter uh, quarterly interest rate. Okay. So what we need is a special quarterly interest rate. Which is the annual percentage rate divided by, and if you look at your formula, I'm, I'm trying to remind you guys about this, that for monthly compounding you've got a, a monthly interest rate which is APR divided by 12, for quarterly it's APR divided by 4, right, because it's 4 times per year. So we've got to take the APR of 8% and divide it by, two, by 4. So you can do this, you can go 8% divided by 4, and what does that give us? 8 over 4 is 2, so that's 2%, and what's 2% as a decimal? 2% is not 2, just so you know. It's not 2. 2% 2 is 2 divided by 100. Okay, it's 2 per 100. And that is 0 0.02, which is a completely different thing than 2. So 2% 2 is 0 0.02. Okay. So, the quarterly interest rate is 2%. So we're going to get 2% added on each quarter. So at the end of quarter one, we take our $1,000 and we multiply that by 1 plus 0 0.02. So we get the 1000 back and 2% added on. So obviously, we'll calculate this for fun. 1000 times 1 is 1000. 1000 times 0 0.02 is... 1,000 times 0 0.02 is 20, okay? So we get $1,000 plus 20, or um, $1,020, right? After quarter one. And what's the interest earned there? Well, the interest we've get, we, we have uh, gained is... Um, twenty dollars right now after quarter two we take our thousand and twenty dollars from quarter one and we times that by one plus zero point zero two so we have after quarter two we, we multiply so we have our thousand and twenty plus two percent of a thousand and twenty okay what does that make Twenty point four, okay, or twenty dollars forty cent. So, um, at the end of quarter two, we have um, one thousand forty dollars forty cents, 
and the interest we have added on in this quarter is in fact um, twenty dollars and forty cents right at the end of quarter three we take our thousand and forty dollars forty cents and multiply that by one plus zero point zero two so we have the same money plus two percent of that right So we have our thousand forty dollars forty cent plus so twenty eighty one about, right? So, um, well, let me let me put it this way. L let's just keep this the same as the last table. I'll just put forty dollars forty cents there for interest, and here I've earned one thousand and sixty dollars eighty one. So I'll just say, okay, the interest earned to this point is sixty dollars eighty one. But uh, I hope it's clear that the extra interest. Um, here was twenty dollars forty cents. The extra interest going from quarter two to quarter three was in fact twenty dollars and um oh I made a mistake there of course. This should be sixty one um twenty one sorry and um of course, I can check that by the the formula, but um, th this should be an extra. Uh, so this would be sorry, sixty one twenty one. So an extra twenty dollars eighty one cent, right? Um, and then after quarter four. We, we're taking our one thousand sixty one dollars twenty one cents and multiply that by one plus zero point zero two which gives the one thousand sixty one twenty one plus two percent of that which is twenty one dollars twenty two cents okay so uh, a total amount of course is that plus one zero six one point two one which is one zero eight two point four three okay so the interest we have after quarter four is eighty two dollars forty three cents and that's an extra twenty one dollars twenty two okay so the point is, um, the point is, and let's see. We'll, we'll 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 just we'll just answer these questions again. So, how much interest does the account earn in each compounding period? This is how much it earns, you know, after each, and 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 in the first period it's twenty dollars. In the second period it's twenty dollars forty. In the third period it's twenty eighty one. In the fourth uh, uh, quarter it's twenty one twenty two. Okay, so we've done that one. Does the interest earned increase over each period? Yes, it does. Why does the interest earned increase over each period? Why is the extra? Why don't we just keep earning twenty dollars extra interest? Why do we we earn twenty and then twenty forty, then twenty eighty one, then twenty one twenty two? What's going on there? Okay, this is what we've got to understand. Why? is the interest earned during each period increasing. Can you explain that in your own words? This is why we bother with the calculations, just so we actually understand this, and this will help us to understand the difference between, uh, understand what APY is, right? And APR. So, basically, in the second period, 
we were account, we, we added on so in the first quarter we earned twenty dollars interest. Then we added that to the principal to get ten twenty, and then we got interest on top of that. So the twenty dollars forty cents. This forty cents, if you just look at that forty cents, is in fact interest on top of interest. It's two percent of twenty dollars. Two percent of twenty dollars is forty cents. Okay. So um, the, when you earn interest on top of interest, that's why your amount of interest each period increases. Okay, and that's what compound interest means. You're earning interest on top of interest. Okay, so does the interest earned increase over each period? Yes. Why? Because we're earning interest on top of interest, and you could use your own words if you like. We're earning interest on interest, basically, right? That's what compound interest means. How much total interest does this earn in one year? How much total interest does the CD earn in one year? Total interest, money-wise, eighty-two dollars forty-three cents, right? Because it started at a thousand and it became one thousand eighty-two point four three. Okay. What's the annual percentage yield? Now, um, just before we get to that, I just want to quickly check one of these uh, balances with a formula. So. If we take uh, quarter four, we would take our principal thousand times that y one plus zero point zero two. That's the quarterly um, interest rate of two percent, and then we would put that to the power of four. We would compound it four times, and that is one zero eight two point four three. Okay, a thousand eighty two dollars forty three cents. So the formula way to do this is a thousand times one plus zero point zero two to the power of four. That's interest compounded quarterly, right? So just to check. So what's the annual percentage yield? Give the annual percentage yield as a percentage rounded to three decimal places. The annual percentage yield is the interest earned, the percentage of interest earned um, out of the principal. So the annual percentage yield is going to be interest earned over the um, the the previous the start of the, the, the balance at the start of the year, okay? Um, so uh, in this case it's the principal. So how much interest did we earn? We earned $82.43 and the principal at the start, start of the year was $1,000, right? And plug that in a calculator and what do you get? 0 0.08243 and write that as a percentage to three decimal places what do you get? Well as a percentage the decimal point moves over one two spaces and that becomes eight point two four three percent. Okay? So the APY is that this is our APY and that is more than the annual percentage rate which was 8% or 8.000% if you want a direct comparison. Does that make sense? The annual percentage yield is 8.243% which is more than the annual percentage rate of 8%. What's the difference? Um, annual percentage rate is just the number we use to calculate the interest rate we're going to need. Like we use 8% so we can calculate 2% and that's the important. Our interest rate really is 2% each quarter. That's our interest rate. It's a quarterly interest rate of 2%. 
and after the entire year we've shown that we get $82.43 which is 8.243 percent of the $1,000 we began with okay so basically the APR is is a useless number in this case I mean if, if, if you were told by the bank that hey your annual percentage yield is 8.243 percent that's all you want to know because that tells you the percentage you're going to get at the end of the year this is the exact percentage you're going to get at the end of the year if they told you that up front you could just go okay I'm going to invest a thousand dollars so that means you're going to give me 8.243 percent of one thousand dollars which is what 0 0.08243 times a thousand which is what Look that in the calculator. You're going to give me eighty-two dollars forty-three cents in interest at the end of the year. Okay. Or if they told you, okay, the annual percentage yield is eight point two four three percent, and you invest um, five thousand dollars, how much interest would they give you at the end of the year? Again, they would give you. 8.243% of $1,000, which is 0 0.08243 times 5,000, right? Which is 412 dollars 15 So we can use the annual percentage yield to quickly calculate the interest we're going to get at the end of the year. That's all we need to know, right? no need for compounding. Okay. So is the APY greater than the APR? Yes, the APY is greater than the APR. Why? Can you answer this in your own words? Why is the annual percentage yield greater than the, the annual percentage rate of 8%? In your own words? Press pause and think about it. Well, because compounding occurred through during the year, right? we had uh, compounding during the year which gave interest on top of interest which um, gave us more interest than just 8% it gave us 8.243 percent right so going to the next page if interest had been compounded annually how much total interest would the CD have earned and what would the APY have been so press pause and do that one please if interest was just compounded annually, how much total interest would the CD have earned? Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'll do it now. So you take your thousand dollars, multiply it by one plus R to the power of T, and if it's annual compound interest, what's R equal to? Well, R is just it's going to be compounded once per year so it's just eight percent right or 0 0.08 and t of course is one because we're just going to it's a one year cd so we're just going to compound interest one time so it's just a thousand times one plus 0 0.08 which gives 1080 so how much total interest would the cd have earned eighty dollars not $82.43 which occurred from the quarterly compounding right what would the annual percentage yield have been in this case what do you think press pause and do that one well again the APY would be the interest earned over the principal invested or the balance at the start of the year which is eighty dollars earned thousand dollars at the start of the year what does that give us eight over a hundred right or zero point zero eight or as a percentage eight per cent right 
So the APY would have been 8%. So that's the annual percentage yield. And isn't that equal to the APR? Okay. Which of course is 8%. So if we have annual compound interest, the annual percentage yield equals the annual percentage rate because you're just compounding at the end of the year, right? So, um, so on question four, assume a one-year CD purchased for $1,000 pays an APR of 8% that is compounded monthly. How much is in the account at the end of one year? Press pause and calculate that. Use the compound interest formula that you're given on the formula sheet. Okay, have you got it? I'll, I'm going to do it now. So you're going to take your thousand dollars, you're going to compound it monthly. So it's going to be one thousand, the principal times one plus the rate to the power of t. Now what's the rate? Because what we need in here is a monthly interest rate. which is going to be the annual percentage rate divided by 12, right? Because it's monthly compounding. Now APR is 8% or 0 0.08. Divide that by 12 and what do you get? Zero point zero zero six 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 seven, etc., right? So um, we look, we can put that in zero point zero zero six 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 seven whoops seven to the power of t. What's t? If we're compounding monthly for how many years? One year. So it's just one year, and then it's twelve times in that year, right? So t is going to be power of twelve. So we just use the compound interest formula like that and calculate that. I can do 1.0066667 to the power of 12 and I should get $182.99999. So if I round that to the nearest cent, what does that give me? Round that to the nearest cent. 1082.9995 blah 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 is approximately if you round this 9 up okay then this becomes a 10 and this becomes a 10 and then that becomes a 3 right 83.00 so it's a thousand and eighty three dollars right so how much is in the account at the end of one year one thousand and eighty three dollars how much total interest does it earn eighty three dollars what's the annual percentage yield give APY as a percentage rounded to three decimal places press pause and do that one what's the annual percentage yield okay I'll do it now to get the annual percentage yield you take the interest earned and divide that by what you began with the principal let's say or what was in the account at the start of the year so you get the interest earned as a percentage of what was in there at the beginning so eighty three dollars out of one thousand which is zero point zero eight three which is as a percentage Turn that into a percent. Move the decimal point two spaces to the right, and that's 8.3 percent, right? Or to three decimal places, you could say 8.300 percent, right? So the APY is 8.300 percent or 8.3 percent, same thing, right? And let's compare that to what we got earlier with interest compounded quarterly, which is what began with compounded quarterly, our annual percentage yield was um, 8.243%. Okay? 
then when we compounded um, monthly we got 8.300 percent right which is more than that because so so basically if you compound monthly you're going to yield you're going to get a little bit more interest which is what we did we got eighty three dollars not just eighty two dollars forty three cents so when we compounded each month we got a little bit more more interest and um, so the our annual percentage yield of course is more it's eight point three percent that's shown that we're going to get more interest right with compounded monthly rather than um, rather than quarterly and of course when we just compounded annually when we just compounded annually we only got um, eight percent right so we could we just got eighty dollars which is eight percent right so so in your own words what is APR and what is APY So, in my words, how I like to remember it is I just say the annual percentage rate is simply a number used to, um, yeah, I could say a number used to calculate the monthly interest rate basically <laughs> and then you use, and then you need the mo the monthly interest rate to actually get the answer or sometimes it'll be a quarterly interest rate or a weekly interest rate or a semi annual interest rate or whatever so the APR is just the number that you use to calculate the interest rate that you actually need okay um, whereas annual percentage yield is what annual percentage yield gives you the actual percentage interest earned in one year or the actual interest the actual percentage interest earned in one year right 